do I plan a trip on the bus? There are several options. First time riding the bus? Try the BWBus.com website where you can find complete route information or grab a route map at our transit headquarters, 20th and Lapeer in Port Huron or on board each bus. Need a bigger picture? Look at the overall route map first to see which routes serve the places you're traveling to and from. Then look at the timetables which detail the timing points along each route. If you need assistance, you may call the customer service line at 810-987-7373 or ask any bus driver. They're there to help. What is a timing point? A timing point is a location along the route map that's assigned to a time in the bus schedule. Since we cannot provide detailed times for every stop along the route, the timing points provide an estimate of when the bus will be at a certain location. You can use the timing point preceding your location to estimate when to wait for the bus. How do I transfer from one bus to another? Well, if your one-way trip requires the use of two or more routes, request a transfer when you pay your initial fare. You'll receive a transfer slip to give to the next driver when you change buses. It's important to mention which route you're transferring to when first boarding the bus because it will enable the driver to notify the other bus that a passenger is on the way. What is Dial-A-Ride service? Dial-A-Ride service is available for residents living in Birchville, Port Huron, and Fort Gratiot townships. Blue Water Area Transit can send a bus to your home, usually within an hour, depending on when you call for service. Reservations made a day in advance can usually guarantee a trip to conform to your schedule. Route Identification All buses have destination signs on the front. The destination sign displays the route number and destination of the bus. Read the signs carefully and ask the driver to ensure that you're boarding the correct bus. Locating a bus stop. Passengers will be allowed to board or exit a vehicle at any marked bus stop or shelter. Bus stops and shelters are identified with signs. If there are no signs along a route, the bus can be waved down and buses will stop. The bus can stop to allow passengers to board or exit only if the driver considers it safe and appropriate to do so. Boarding and exiting is only allowed at bus stops and other safe locations and after the bus is clear from an intersection. Getting on the bus. Wave to get the attention of the bus driver so he or she knows you want to board. Stand back from the curb when the bus is approaching. Have your fare ready so others don't have to wait. And take a seat after entering and remain seated at all times. Always board the bus through the front door. Insert your ticket or exact cash fare into the fare box as drivers can't make change or show the driver your bus pass or transfer slip. Getting off the bus. Pull the bell cord above the window prior to your destination stop. Remain seated and wait until the bus comes to a complete stop before standing. When possible, exit the bus using the rear door allowing other passengers to board through the front door without delay. After you exit, stand to the side of the road or on the sidewalk until the bus is pulled away. For your safety, never cross the street in front of the bus. Tips for riders. A bus is considered on time up to five minutes after the scheduled time. Arrive at the bus stop a few minutes early. It's better to be early than to miss your bus. Have your ticket or fare ready before the bus arrives. Bus drivers are good resources and willing to help. If you need assistance, please ask. Businesses located near bus stops will not provide restrooms, change, or phone services to transit patrons. General rules. No smoking, eating, or drinking on board the bus. Liquids must be in closed, spill-proof containers. Vacate seats for the elderly and disabled. Do not stand in prohibited areas or when open seats are available. Place large packages under the seat and out of the aisle. Strollers, walking aids, and empty shopping carts must be collapsed and out of the aisle. Service animals trained to assist persons with disabilities are welcome. Pets are not. Do not engage in inappropriate or distracting conversation with the driver. All passengers must wear footwear and appropriate public attire. Keep the buses clean and take your trash and belongings with you. If severe weather strikes,
please visit our website or listen to local radio and TV stations for weather-related announcements. If management determines it is unsafe to operate and service ceases for the day, we'll do our best to get passengers home. Take your bike on the bus. Combining biking and transit can get you farther. There are just a few things to be aware of when taking your bike on the bus. Bike racks are available on a first-come, first-served basis. If there are no bikes in the rack, you should place your bike in the slot closest to the bus. After placing your bike in the rack, raise the support arm over the front tire to secure it. Remember to remind the driver that you'll be removing your bike when you get off the bus. Lost and found. If you leave an item on the bus, please call 810-987-7373 between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Monday through Friday, except for holidays. Remember, be safe and have a great ride.